Hi, teachers. I think we all use a variety of content in our classrooms, from Google Slides to PDFs and web pages. Wouldn't it be great to know if students are really paying attention to what we are teaching? And how about actively engaging them by having all of your students participate and interact with the content we are using? Well, in this video, we are going to explore how you can make almost any piece of digital content interactive and boost engagement times 10. For this, you're gonna need the Annotate Chrome extension installed on both teacher and student devices. You can find a link to the extension in the banner above. Students will also need to have accounts on Annotate. Adding interactivity is supported for Google Slides, PDFs, and web pages. With the extension installed and the toolbar visible, click More Options and then click Add Interactive Questions. The assessment toolbar will now show up. You have direct access to 11 different question types on the toolbar. We will cover in-document assessments in a separate video. For now, go ahead and click Multiple Choice, which is a very popular question type. If this is the first time you're adding interactivity to your deck, you may be asked for authorization. Go ahead and accept any of those permissions. The user interface is the same one as you have seen in the notebooks. If you have used assessments with notebooks previously, it will all be familiar. Meanwhile, here is a quick overview. The top toolbar has controls for selecting the question type, point value, and adding a separate control for students to provide an explanation or a drawing of their work. You can also add a picture or insert an equation. Go ahead and fill in the question statement and answer choices. Click Add when done. If you want to have multiple questions on this slide, click Add Question to add questions below this one. Please note that when you schedule an assessment, all questions that are on the slide will open for student responses. Click Save to have this assessment saved to your account. Once you have inserted an assessment into your deck, the Assessment Floating Action button will always be visible. The notification bubble on the top of the button shows a count of the questions on the slide. If there are no questions on the slide, no notification is shown. Move to another slide and click the button to add another set of questions. Before using these questions with students, you will need to enable access permissions so that students are able to access your slides. Here in this Google slide deck, I have set viewing permissions so that anyone in my email domain is able to view my slides. Now go back to your Annotate web account and publish the file to a course. If you would like to use the question with your students in the classroom, be sure to have a sign as homework flag turned off. Students will have access to your deck, but they won't see the questions just yet. Go to the course and click the thumbnail to open your deck. I'm going to be presenting this deck live, so let me start a slideshow and then initiate a live stream. Once you are on a slide where you have questions, click the Assessment Floating Action button to bring up the assessment window and then click Ask Now. You can customize how the assessment is presented to students before scheduling. Randomize the order in which questions and answer choices are shown. When students get to see their scores, Enable multiple attempts for students or make it a time test. Set the survey mode flag to administer a survey or a nine graded assessment. Click take assessment to make the assessment visible to students. If students are in a live stream or if they have a deck open in front of them, they should get a notification that an assessment is available for response. Alternatively, they can go to the Activities tab of the course and launch the assessment from there. On the Teacher side, the view will shift from the Questions tab to the Scores tab. The Scores tab shows a live view of student activity as they respond to your questions. Students are able to minimize their assessment window and refer to the underlying deck should they need to. Once they're done, they can click Submit to make their responses available for grading. If students accidentally submit the assessment or would like to take another go, you can reopen the assessment for them. Click Pause Edit to end the assessment. 
Now I wanna highlight that you have the flexibility of pausing and then resume the assessment later should you run out of class time. Click end when you would like to end the assessment and review the student performance. End activity also forces a submission of all pending student responses for grading. Navigate to the item analysis tab to see analysis of how your students performed. Click close to exit assessment view and return to your slide. When you navigate to your next slide with assessment questions, please follow the same steps to make that assessment available to your students. All of the assessments and students' performance data is within easy access from inside your Annotate web account. Navigate to the Course Content tab of a course where all published content is listed. Notebook and web annotations that have interactive questions within them will now show the assessment icon on the top right corner. Click the icon to bring up all the assessments for that file, including students' performance data and item analysis reports. We hope this new feature will really help you engage your students in the classroom and enable you to get deeper insights into student understanding and progress. As always, we ask you to please continue to share your comments and suggestions so that we can bring you features that can help you teach more efficiently and effectively in the classroom.